Um, so, important for you guys to understand what this is really, another way to write this would be j of h of x. Oh, j of h of x. Okay, well, we've done something. We just did that, right? Something like that. So we have the j of x function. And what we're doing is we're plugging it into the h of x function. So what that really is saying is I'm going to take j of x, and I'm going to plug in h of x for my input value. So therefore, I'm going to have 1 over h of x plus 3. Do you guys see what I did? That's what we did last. And you remember, remember the last problem? That's what you guys did. You had no idea what g of x was, but that's what you guys did. The nice thing about these problems, or now what we're going to do is I'm going to tell you what the function is. So rather than cleaning up your friend's lip, all you need to do is say, oh, h of x. What is h of x? 1 over x plus 3. No, I'm sorry. h of x is x plus 2. So again, using parentheses is going to help you x plus 2 plus 3. OK, well, I can simplify that. x plus 2 plus 3, I just add the 2 and the 3. That's equal to 1 over x plus 5. Cool, right? And then now, all I simply need to do is go ahead and um, find the domain. So the domain in this case is going to be all numbers that are not equal to negative 5. So negative infinity to negative 5, union negative 5 to infinity. 